all right good afternoon um, uh, this is just like an introductory video uh, on the topic lenses in physics lenses can be defined as a piece of transparent equipment usually glass with two refracting surfaces such that at least one is curved and the refractive index of its material is different from that of its surroundings now i know that can be a little stretchy but uh, in summary i just want to say for example i have this now this is a lens and as we can see it's transparent which means um okay let's see maybe myself too let's see uh, okay at least you can see my mouth is moving through a little bigger i guess one Okay, can you see? Okay. Uh -huh. okay. At least my teeth are visible through the lens. So it shows that it's transparent and it's glass like. And it has two refracting surfaces. Now, look, pay close attention. Now, you realize that um, looking through, we have this surface and we have another surface right here. So we have two refracting surfaces. And then because it's glass light will pass differently from air into the glass and then it bends the light tree which is called refraction and also the refractive index of glass is different from the refractive index of air which is surrounding too and uh, that takes us to the next section which is the types of lenses now we have two types of lenses we have the convex lens or the converging lens what does that mean when we say converging, converging means you are trying to bring many things just to a spot and I will demonstrate a little here. Okay, let's say for example, I have another lens here. It's a convex lens too. Okay, uh, sorry for the light. It's just a light that enables us to view things properly through. Now, this is a convex lens also, which is a converging lens and um, I will demonstrate its converging nature briefly. Let's see, um, let me take just the material. Okay, let's say I have... Um, Let's say I have a plain piece of paper here, okay, and uh, okay, let's say, okay, can we take this one as an example here? I don't know if you can see this properly, okay, let's look at this now, good. Now, if there's a light coming from my phone, I'm trying to project the light upon this paper. Now, actually, okay, let's do it this way, let's see if it will be okay this way, can you see? Okay, yeah. Uh, Actually, I'm seeing the... Okay, let's do it this way. Uh, okay, my light source is... Um, <laughs> actually, I'm seeing the, the concentrated ray at the back of the paper, though you might not be able to see properly. But actually, I'm seeing a converging ray of light. Or, okay... Okay, uh, let's do it this way. Thank you. Okay, still not visible. I'm trying to ensure that you see the convergent light. Okay, what I need now is to find a source of light through which enters from one side and then you will see a small dot appear on this other side. Okay, that's my aim now. Um, let me see if I can get a, a light source. Um, okay, let me, let me hold on. Okay now, uh, actually I, I got one of my laser light. So this is actually red light, right? Uh, and it's converging. Look, I can change the view. All right. So as you can see now, the rays of light are actually very spread about. They are not concentrated to a point. Okay. So what I will demonstrate now is to use um, a convex lens to narrow or to converge this spread beam of light at onto a point. So let's watch that if that could really work in this demonstration. So let me take a screen, okay? Let me take something here. Okay, let's work with this screen. Let me see if this will really work on my demonstration. Oh, that's falling. Okay, let's see. This is a plain screen here, all right? Okay, can we see? All right, good. So I will take my convex lens. I'll put this just right in front of this. Then we're gonna watch. Okay, let's see. Okay, put on the red light. Okay, let's see. Okay, the blue light is a little dim now watch without the convex lens okay oh let's see now without the convex lens, you can see the screen it's uh, a lot so many lights at the same spot right so many i don't know and they are a little okay but let's see 
if I keep my light here and I take my converging lens, let's see what the difference will be like. Okay, let's see. Let's see how different the light will converge. Okay. Are you seeing anything? Okay. Okay, good, beautiful, beautiful. I'm seeing something now. Beautiful. Can you see this bright spot? Can you see this bright light? Aha, aha, good. Yes, we are getting that. Now, do you see this bright spot close? Yeah, okay, good. Even more closer. Can you see? Yeah, do you see this bright, very bright spot? Do you see that? Do you see that? Do you see that? Okay, now, do you see that? Now that bright spot just close to the edge of the screen though. I'm trying to get it at the center. Okay, it's coming closer now. Good, good. That's a bright dot there. Aha. Aha. Now watch. Let me remove the, the, the lens so that we can see the effect. The converging effect of the lens. So I remove the lens. Look at how the light is so spread. Now look at when I introduce the lens. Look at how it converges the light ray to just a spot, just like the brightness of the sun. Okay, that's quite interesting now. Uh, that's quite interesting. I never planned, okay, but I realized that well. And it's fun, it's fun, it's fun. So you see now, aha, a bright spot there. That's a converging effect. No lens, then lens. See that? See that? See how bright the spot is there. Okay, now. Okay. Okay, that's a bright one. No lens. Then lens. All right. So that's just a little demonstration there. I guess that works. <laughs> that works really well. All right. So let me off my light and then let's continue. So what we have just demonstrated there is actually how a convex lens works. And like I told you, a convex lens converges the rays of light onto a spot. And we have three types of lens. We have biconvex lens, which means uh, both surfaces they are convex, you know, they are bulgy and we together. Convex lens can be identified easily because they bulge at the center, that is they are thicker at the center than at the ends, okay? Convex lens are thicker at the center than at the ends. So, we also have the second type plano convex, that is there's a plain surface, a flat, and then a convex surface. So that's why we call it plano convex. And we have the third one which is concave or convex lens which means there is a concave surface and there is also a convex surface. Okay, I think uh, if I will use this as a short marker board, can I use this? Okay, let me just check if this will work well. Okay, now let's see. A biconvex lens has this and this, right? Can we see? There are two bulgy surfaces on the left and on the right. Okay, so if this is the center of my lens. Now, what we have just demonstrated in that picture is this. Light rays enters into the convex lens. Are we following? Right? Then the light rays actually come together to a bright spot. And this spot can be the spot we have actually identified on the screen. So this is a black spot on my screen. Are we together? So that's how a convex lens converges light. So this is light ray one light ray two light ray three now which comes here here and here okay so this is a bright spot upon my screen and this is my convex lens okay so that is how a convex lens works so let's continue with our work so if i rub this off now um Let's take another example. You know, I told you that we have about three types of convex lens. So we have the, uh, uh, the biconvex lens, which I've just drawn. Then we have the plano convex. Plano convex means I have a plane surface, right? A plane surface. Then I have a bulgy part. It's like dividing the first one into two. Are we together? So this is a plano. P L A N O Plano. Uh oh. That's <laughs> okay, let's go. I'll say Plano. Plano. Convex. Lens. Okay? So, that's a Plano Convex Lens. Alright? 
So the third one is the concave or convex lens. Concave or convex lens looks like the crescent of a moon. Okay. It looks more like a crescent, okay? I guess like this. Okay. Now this is called concave convex lens. Concave convex lens. Now a concave convex lens is also the third type of convex lens. Okay. Now that is the little we'll talk about for now on convex lens. So next we add into the concave lens and I have one with me here right now too. I have um, a concave lens. Uh, okay, hold on. I think that's, I realized my concave lens was trying to hide from me. All right, so we have a concave lens. Now check the difference now. If you look closely, you will realize that the concave lens or the Diverging lens is actually. Ah, I wish you could see this clearly. There's a difference there, it's actually thinner at the middle, okay, and it's thicker at the edges compared to the one I showed you earlier, which is the convex. And this is a concave now. The convex I told you earlier, it's thicker at the center, but the Concave lens is actually thinner. Okay, good. I think I remember this now. Let me take it close to my teeth as before Okay, do you see the difference now? Watch. Look at it. Do you see the way they refract the light is different now this one I can remember at this point with the last lens, which now this is a concave now, right? Can you see I'm smaller? My face is smaller, 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 smaller. Now let me let me just compare with the convex convex lens now. Watch, 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 watch. All right. Do you see that the effects are different? Now, this is at a longer distance away from my mouth now. Look at how big my lips and my teeth are. Oh. Now let me trade that. Let me exchange that with a concave lens now. Okay, so now this here, now the concave lens at a, at the same distance away from my mouth, it's smaller. So that shows us the difference um, between a concave and a convex lens. Now I go to the third one, which is um, the, the 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 subtype of concave lens, just like I did for the convex lens earlier. So we have a concave lens like this. So uh oh. And like a, okay, let's see. Okay, that's good. Okay, let's check that. Now, if I have this, oh, beautiful. Now, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Good. Can you check this out? Okay, oh, let me do it properly. If I have something like this. Okay, I think that's better. So, do you see the difference now? The come. This is a concave lens, right? Now remember, a concave lens is thinner at the center than at the edges, like I did show you the, the lens previously. Now, which means, I told you also that a concave lens is also called a divergent lens, which means it diverges the rays of light, right? It diverges it. And then what does that mean? It means if I have parallel rays of light coming through, all right? What happens to light ray? Instead of converging like I did earlier with a convex or converging lens, now the light rays diverge, which means they spread out. They spread out. They spread out. Okay? That's a beautiful property of concave lens. Alright, so this is concave. Concave lens. Are we together? All right, so that's a little explanation there. I hope that's cool. All right, now let's look at um, the subtypes. Now let's look at the subtypes of concave lens. Now the subtypes, the one I've just claimed is the bicon biconcave or double concave lens. That's the first type. Now we also have the plano concave, which means I have a plane surface and I also have a convex surface, just like this. Oh, hold on. Uh, where's my marker? 
Okay, I found it. All right, so I have a plain surface, then I have a convex surface. Do you see now? There's a straight face and there's also a concave face. So this is our plano concave lens. Now, which is spelled plano, E L A N O, plano concave lens. Okay, is that understood? All right. Now, the third one is the, the convex or concave lens. Now, how does that look like? Hmm, quite simple, too. Okay, let me just clean this and draw that. Now, a concave, oh, sorry, a convexo concave, a convexo concave now. Convexo concave is like this, okay? So, let's go. Boom. Boom. Do you see now? Okay. This is a convex so concave lens because I can see like a convex and a can you see like a concave here yeah, and also a convex like a convex to bulge out at the same time too. So those are the subtypes of concave and convex lenses. Thank you.